How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining us again this week on the Sportsman's Journal. Another great episode coming from you. Probably our last ice fishing show of the it year. It is. In southern Wisconsin, there is no more a safe ice. And we were looking to do one last episode. One last episode. And we were talking with Josh Bullivant from Trapper's Landing, the general manager there. And he was sending me some pictures of some really nice bluegills. Yes. And he said, we still have safe ice and the panfish are going. That's right. So Sarah and I decided, you know what, should we go up there and try to do one more or should we get in the boat? All right. And we were here um, just actually a couple weeks ago. It feels like a little bit longer because of Almost the season Almost a month change. ago, right. But, um, and we were catching big crappies. We caught a few walleyes. A couple walleyes, yep. So we know they have big fish here. That's so right. So we were pretty pumped. We were. So Josh said, why don't you come up, try to get on this bluegill bite. He's chasing around a big basin, big pods of them. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a pretty we cool episode. Screen, yeah. We saw his screen. We saw his, his death finder was lit up like Christmas yeah. tree. So we're excited to come up here. He was catching some really nice ones. Yeah. So we're excited about that. But we're and gonna do a lot of hole hopping today. Right. We're gonna be on the move. And part of the fun is Josh is actually gonna be joining us on the ice for a few hours. That's right. To show us how it's done. That's right, he's gonna show us how it's done. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit, everything about Trapper's Landing, what they have to offer. So it should be a pretty good show. We're gonna catch some big bowls. Are you yes. excited? I'm excited. I'm excited Let's too. Go. Oh, one more thing. What? The weather's supposed to be amazing. Oh, it's supposed to be gorgeous. So that's a plus. Upper 40s, Definitely. no wind, sunshine. Should be awesome. Everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back with some huge bluegills on the Sportsman's Journal. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Baitmate Fish Attractant. Good morning, how are you? Good. Nice to see you again. So Josh has finally joined us on the ice. I say finally, like we've been out here a long time. <laughs> we haven't, but uh, we have drilled some holes. We've seen some fish. We're, we're happy to have you out here with us. Why don't you tell us what you do at Trapper's Landing so I don't screw it up? <laughs> I'm kind of the manager, so I get to see the day-to-day -day operations. We got a small crew work on the ice. We got a good crew too. So you guys have kind of seen that all yes. the way down to our housekeeping team's great. Yes. Great. So we got a great lead housekeeper. It runs so. phenomenal. Uh, Josh is actually the hero of the day because he brought his scoop. So we got out here, we drilled some holes. I said, Tyler, I didn't need the scoop. He said, I didn't bring it. And I said, what do you mean? It's in the truck? No, I didn't even bring it. It's in our basement. So we text Josh and said, hey, can you bring us a scoop? We got a few of them. Yeah. yeah that's another great thing. Trapper's yep. Landing has all your equipment, so they will help you out. So if you forget something, I don't know if you get this kind of service where they deliver it to you normally, but um, yeah. we're lucky today. I was, uh, I was heading out, <laughs> yeah. so. Perfect. All right, let's go find some fish. Yes. We are in 26 feet right now. There's a big basin behind me, and then it comes up, and then there's a flat. Drill the first hole on the deep side of that flat, and then we're gonna move in as necessary. But so I wanna use the pan optics to my advantage. Why wouldn't I? And so I just uh, zoomed out further. So, so now on my screen, I can see out 60, 70 feet. And I am marking fish. So right now I'm pointed into the flat and about 40 feet away is just Talk full. We got fish? Oh my gosh. This, yes. That what, what do you want a, me to drill? That is a good sign. What do you want me to and oh. then I And then right behind me. You got me all excited. Is here. where it comes up. See, and there's fish. So, huh? yeah. Speak so, to me. so out this way. Okay. Let me see. 40, 50 feet. Oh my. My screen is just chock full. This part always makes me nervous. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, he is. Nice job, He is thick. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I got my trusty little hemostat here. Look at that. I caught him on Northland's new coffin spoon there. He just came up and curled it. I like it. I hit it hard. Ooh, 
that looks like a nice one. Feels okay. You see? Getting a little pull there. Side. Oh. Oh, look at that. You seen him? Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice skill. Ah! That is what we were after. Look at that. Oh, that's fun. He was high and pretty by himself. He uh, was waiting for the pack to leave, so he's coming in to eat. So much fun. I love yeah, it. they are. <laughs> big gill. Sarah marked the fish kind of on the outside of this big flat that we're working. And then what they're doing is they're just making big circles back and forth. So the finicky food are gonna be crucial today. We obviously use these every time we ice fish because they catch fish. But what I want to do is I want to put these on the side and we're kind of work the middle of this area that we drilled a whole bunch of holes and it's a big, big circle basically. I'm going to put the finicky coolers on the outside of the circle and we're going to jig hole hop on the inside. One thing that I want to hook these up with, which I'm excited to use, are it's Northland's new tungsten mud bug jigs. And they're a little bit heavier because they're tungsten, but I'm going to hook that minnow through the tail. And what that's going to do is this heavier little jig is going to keep that minnow from squirming all over the place. So it'll be a little more subtle presentation. And they got decent sized hooks for how small they are. So we should get good hook setting percentage. So that's our plan. So we're going to get these rigged up and get some fish on the ice. This one hit it. Oh yeah, that's a nice crappie there. Really nice crappie. Got a nice crappie. Right there. Oh, there they wow. are. So that's, that's a big one. Nice job, Josh. He just came up and just stopped the jig oh, too. My I need goodness. your pliers yeah, there. Absolutely. Just inhaled it. Wow. That's a beautiful fish. Nice job. That's what we like to see. Oh yeah. <laughs> now this is fun. They're all sitting, all the fish are right now kind of within our three, four holes, and so we don't have to run too far. So that's yeah, nice. <laughs> not having to stay on them. They finally slowed down for yeah. the day, so. That's a nice one. Yeah. So I just dropped down, and there's another high one. There he is. Did you just get another one? The coffin spoon right now. Money. This one feels good, too. Oh. I think those lone ones that are high are the big gills. Oh, look at that. Oh, bulldogging. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, I love it. I haven't seen him yet. This water is clear. Yeah. You can see down quite a bit. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. See oh it? my goodness. Oh, there. Yeah. Nice Look fish. At that. That's a big duck. We see that's a female. Is it not real colorful? Yeah, usually, yeah, the males get a little bit more of that orange down on their stomach, so. That's a, that's a big one, and she engulfed it. We're gonna say she. All right, I'm gonna pop that hook out and then put her back. I'm gonna put her back to make babies. This is fun, Josh. I like it. Yeah. I'm glad we decided to make the trip to come back up for late season panfish. It's fun. <laughs> it is definitely fun. Doesn't look like we got too many days left of it right now. No, so. it does not. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the ice is making lots of noise and it's making me a little nervous. <laughs> Josh and Tyler are like, that's eh, fine. Me, still, I'm like. <laughs> still plenty of ice. There is a little soft today. There but. is a lot of ice, but it's still, whew. but it's, oh, it's fun. It's, it's fun to be out here. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. They just laid up, chased that jig. Another one. This one actually kind of feels like a bluegill. Yeah, we'll see what he looks like. Yeah. Gill? Nice gill. Nice. Oh, and he's stuck right on the edge. Is he? There he is. Oh, that's a dandy there. Now you're talking. That's awesome. That's a good fish. Yeah. That is a good fish. 
There's a double. What do you think? There we go. That's a nice one. Yeah. A little cookie cutter. But that's a pretty fish. I'm telling you what, Josh. I'm sure that you guys use a lot of different stuff here, but when it comes to catching big panfish, I am a forage minnow and a macho minnow guy. Oh, for sure. They're they just catch... all-around producers. Come on. It's a pretty fish, too. Josh, one really awesome thing about Trappers is its location. Obviously, it's on Leech Lake, world famous for walleyes, big perch through the ice. Yep. But a cool thing is there's tons of little lakes that are 10, 15 minute drive. And this one that we're on now is seven minutes from our cabin at Trappers. That's pretty awesome to come out here and catch gills and crappies. Yeah, and there are a lot of them, not a lot of pressure on these lakes. They right. kind of get overlooked because everybody's going up to those, the Leech Lake, obviously, to fish out there. But yep. Especially sometimes walleye fishing get a little bit slow and you can go to these small lakes and we'll mark up where to go and send everybody out to them. So That's a really nice thing that you guys do at Trappers is you pretty much bend over backwards to put people on fish. You, you give, they give you waypoints. How many places do that? I, I haven't been anywhere that has, so <laughs> right. we'll try and give you the waypoints. We'll give you, we get all the gear too, so you don't have to pack anything. We have the augers, the flashers, even the ice houses that you get to use. Right. So. Now, you're explaining it really good, but you're leaving out a part. How much do they have to pay for that if they're staying at Trappers? Nothing. It's all included with your rental. So That it, is awesome. Yeah, no matter which room you have or cabin that you're staying with, you get to use it all for free. Right. So you guys do a phenomenal job. I mean, accommodation. Sarah's in love with the place. I mean, it's awesome. I'm in love with the place. But the fishing is top notch. Multi-species, which is a really cool thing. Yeah. Right. And it, it's pretty much, once you guys, when do you guys usually have fishable ice in December? Uh, normal, usually, year. normal year, it's usually that first week of December, you can start walking out on a lot of the lakes and we've had it as early as Thanksgiving time frame. Nice, yeah. But uh, And the walleye fishing is awesome, right? Yeah, first yeah. ice is when you want to try and get up as soon as you find out there's that four or five inches of ice to get out, so. But this panfish bite on these smaller lakes is all season. All season long. Right. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. It's still moving. You can, can see, you see it see moving. It? Look oh at the yeah, rod. I can see the rod tip. <gasps> we have to walk very carefully because it's a little slick up here. All right, hopefully that fish is still there. That slack out. There it is. That felt that felt good on the initial hook set. Some good head shakes. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. He's pulling. He's pulling. Come Don't on, drag. There he goes. I'm guessing we got a northern again. I loosened my drag a little bit, give him some pull. Yeah, he's definitely got some runs to him. Whoa! <laughs> Woohoo! He's it's it's a heavy fish. I mean, obviously we got light line and light tackle because we're out here targeting crappies and bluegills. But wow! Yeah, that seems heavy. like a nice fish. There's no weeds in here for me to be worried about right now, right? No, I know there are over the there, but yeah. He feels good. Like that. That's it's nice. It's staying down there. Yeah, I'm not budging him much. Could be a big walleye too. There is some walleyes out in this lake. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now you're gonna make me really nervous. <laughs> Good thing I loosened my drag as much as I did. Yeah. If nothing was coming out. I got a little nervous. Got a big wow. fish. It's it's just being down. The excitement is just a lot right now. I'm so nervous. I don't want to have too many fish in here. <laughs> you're okay. Just don't tell. Just don't start bossing me around. A big, holy cow, that's a huge pike. Where's his head? It's huge, it's a 40 incher. Oh my gosh, where's yeah. his head? It's huge. <gasps> You're making me nervous. <gasps> I was better off not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> he it's just went crazy pike. run. Okay. That's, that's a, wow. Oh my goodness. I don't know if he'll get his head turned up. That's a big pike. Take it easy. Okay. No, I have to see him. I've only seen <gasps> like a flash of him. Good. Lift up what I tell you. Okay. His tooth's caught on it. Oh no. Oh no. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna go down there and try to grab him. Here we go. Oh, 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! There you go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hooked perfect. Oh, here you this go, is a tiny <laughs> little jig on this fish. Oh my That's gosh, a, I'm just giving you more line. I got line wrapped around the rod tip. That's okay. four pound test. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can go this way. Yeah, go that way. Okay. That's the side that yeah. the old mud bug's on. So if yeah, you guys are going out see. for a hike, let's just be honest, <laughs> mud bug's all you need. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Wow. I cannot believe we Phenomenal. landed this fish. I'm not going to lie. Sir, that wow. Is a dandy pike. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. What are they in here, Frank? Oh my I goodness. Know. Nice fish. Yeah, thank you. Oh, whoa, okay. Well, it could have been your fish too. You let me have it. So yeah. we're going to put him back down the hole. I know, buddy. I know. Let me get my hand out of there. No, no, no. Oh, wow. He doesn't know which way to go here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. wow. That is a fat fish. And he's gone. I love it. Woo! Let's see if we get another one. Yeah. Come on, big dog. Where you at? all the way down through the herd. They didn't want me to go through the herd. I've tried that. It doesn't get all the way through there most Whoa. of the time. That, this one came up and drilled it. Wow. Here we got a little pulling. He's pulling. He's fighting. That one looks nice. Yeah, he feels a little bit better. He came up and just whacked it. I haven't seen him yet. As long as he stays out of my transducer, we should be good. That's a nice fish that there. That is oh. a nice gill. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get my stack up here. I tell you what, that coffin spoon has been money all day. As soon as I switched from the bro bug to the spoon, I have been catching fish. And it's got that kicker tail and it's got rattles. So it's got a lot of attraction. And Josh recommended the color. I copied him on the color. But, uh, and those, those fish are having a hard time saying no to that. Look at that, that is phenomenal. Whew. As long as I got a little piece of meat on there, we should be gravy trained. Oh my goodness, this guy's coming hard. Yes, oh wow. Wow, that was that this 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 is good. This is good. This is good. This could be bull. This could be bull. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. What do we got? This is a big fish. There's some weight. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Oh my goodness. This is kind of what I like. Yes! How about that? I wanted a big crappie today. I'll take that guy every day of the week. <laughs> Awesome, that is a good fish right there. Wow. 13 incher, I'm saying. That is a thing of beauty right there. The forage, spoon, barely had them top lip. They love that. That is that might be Northland's best panfish lure right there for ice fishing is a forage minnow. Forage minnow, macho minnow, I can't decide. And I'm telling you what, Sarah's showing right now that that coffin spoon is gonna put those baits and run for their money. Awesome. Those are dandies right there, wow. Great fish. That is a dandy. I love huge slabs. I'm telling you what, I am having a blast up here. Trapper's Landing, <laughs> they put you on fish every time. We've been up here twice this year and there's a reason why we came up twice. Next year we're coming up three times, unbelievable fishing. Let's get him back in there. He's too big to keep. Wow, see you later, pal. Awesome. We caught some great bluegills today. That was fun. A lot of fish nice came crappie. topside. I caught a dandy crappie. I caught a really nice northern on the fooler. Yeah. We had a really good day. It, it was, was a good day. action oriented with really nice fish. Right. And late season fishing. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, right. Josh came, we, helped us out. It was nice that he came. We are incredibly grateful right. to Josh for helping us out. We drove eight hours to come up here right. to fish Yep. because everywhere else ice is deteriorating and ice is deteriorating on us today right. so today is going to be our last day ice this is it right here uh it was cool because i text josh what tuesday night josh any fish biting up there yeah, we want to go fishing on the ice one more time mm -hmm. and he said oh, i got a few he sent me a text 
big slab crappies, huge bull bluegills. Yeah. And we're like, we, screen. I was like, I was like, what are you doing Wednesday night and Thursday? <laughs> and he says, come on up. So he came up and it was yeah. worth it. It was awesome. We a had, great way to end the ice. It was, it was a great day. I'm excited to get back to the cabin tonight. I've been talking about appetizers. Oh yeah. I want to say we're, one more thing. How good is the coffin spoon? The coffin spoon is definitely going to be kept in the tap. It's the phenomenal. Everybody, you got to get some of those. Seriously, the coffin spoon is no joke. Quickly becoming one of our favorite baits. Yeah. I had an awesome time. I didn't start with it. No, you didn't, uh, but you ended with it, right? <laughs> you ended with it. Yeah. Everybody, thanks for watching the Sportsman's Journal. For Sarah Trampy, I'm Tyler Trampy. We'll see you all next week. Experience the best of Leech Lake at Trapper's Landing. Visit trapperslandinglodge.com. Northland is proud to introduce a radical new design in ice fishing spoons that's anything but dead in the water. Welcome to Buckshot Coffin Spoon. The special angled flat sides not only generate its unique action, but also dazzlingly reflect light. Besides its action and flash, a brass rattle and kicker tail fin yield super loud fish attracting cues. Available in four sizes and 12 fish catching colors, there's no better choice. The Buckshot Coffin Spoon just gets the job done.